Hey everybody, it's Maria. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I just wanted to say hi and hope everybody's doing well. And that I received a box that I believe I haven't opened it, but I didn't order anything on Amazon. So I'm pretty sure it's what I think it is, which is a box from a company called Camise or Camise. I've done several videos for them for ukuleles, a tenor guitar, um, very, I think a guitar, regular guitar. You can check my channel and check out those videos of, if you would like. And this is actually something different because it's a mixer. And if anybody's been following my channel, they may have noticed that I did some live streams. That was a goal of mine for my New Year's resolution. And I did quite a few so far, but many of them I had some trouble with sound. Um, for some reason, I was able to do pretty well with sound when it had to do with a synthesizer, which had a lot of power. But when I was trying to, um, you know, live stream a tongue drum or something that didn't have any kind of oomph or extra power or preamp, it was difficult to hear. It was too low. So I struggled with trying various mixers. I found a couple that I liked, but that the connections were wonky and they broke. So I'm still really on my quest to find the best way to do live streams and to do recording where I can record straight to the iPhone without the use of having to record separately and then syncing, which I've done a lot in the past as well. So right now you're just hearing me um, from the iPhone because I needed obviously to talk to you guys. So before we go any further, let's open the box and see if this is the mixer. I had to struggle a little because I didn't have my scissor up here. I'm in my eldest son's room. Um, he became a doctor about a year ago. He's in emergency medicine and doing residency. And you know, so I kind of took over his room with his blessing and made it a music room. So here we go. I still like to be outside, but it's raining right now. So let's see what we have. Yeah. Oh, this is good. I'm excited because of what I just read. It says ideal for webcasting. So this should be something that I'll be able to use and utilize, I hope. Okay, so it says on the box, multi-purpose four channel mixer with audio interface. That means that you could take this and attach it to your computer and you actually can record your instruments right to your computer, which is really nice. Okay, so that's so it's a, it's a mixer and an audio interface. That's really cool. Uh, it says flexible connectivity, music streaming, webcasting, podcasting, gaming, PC game broadcasting, mobile music, that's me, and music production, that's me. Expert professional mixing, battery mobile powered, 2A. So I think if you use a power brick with a two amp, I think amperage, which I think most of them are the newer ones anyway, the ones that have a lot of juice, you can uh, power this with that, which is very exciting as well. So I like what I'm hearing so far. So why don't we just open it up? Explicit directions open here. Good for people like me that never read the directions. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, so you have a nice instruction manual, which appears to be all in English, which is pretty amazing because it's thicker than I would think. Sometimes you go, oh, this is big, and then it's in 17 different languages, which don't get me wrong, I appreciate that there, there are many different languages in the world, but sometimes the instruction booklets are lacking. But this looks like it gives you, look, I'll show you. Connection examples. I guess different uses, main features controls and functions, all right? All right, so I will probably have to read this before I hook it all up. 
All right, so it gives you, I'm really hoping this is USB-C because it's a better connection than those wonky mini USB jacks. I don't like them. Please, 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 please tell me. Yes, this is a very good sign, people, because this is a much more secure connection. I'm not gonna say the mixer that I used that I no longer own because it literally failed on me within less than two weeks of using it because it had a USB mini jack and it just was so loose that I have to tell you, I had a few improvs that I loved that I were gone because right in the middle of the music, it cut out and you could hear just me, you know, playing or whatever. And it was awful because I was really happy with them. So to me, that's just like a big waste of time. So look, this is your USB C connection and this goes to the regular USB-A, but from there you can hook this to various things like your iPad um, or your computer. And even if your computer is USB-C, they sell the dongle that converts it, which I own a few of those, having because I have a Mac that's USB-C. Okay, so that's really good. Okay, and then they have a USB to USB. I don't know what that's for. Um, I have to I have to check. I have no clue. I'll have to read the. Uh... Oh, and they even give you look at that. Oh, this is for for power. This is awesome. So this could be for powering it, or this one for powering it. I don't know where the other USB A goes. I'm gonna have to look. It's actually packed very well in the. Um, you know, styrofoam protected. It also, as you saw, came in another box. So we know that if it got roughed around in transit, it should be fine. It's pretty nice weight. It feels like it's metal, although I don't know if it's just a heavy plastic. Let me see if I could tell. Um, I think, I think the top is metal and this is metal. The sides are plastic. Yeah, I think, I think this is a type of metal. I mean, it feels really solid. Um, okay, now I saw where the other, I'm not even sure what this is for. You could put the USB here. So I'm going to have to look if this is another way to connect it. There's your power, see? USB-C, that's the one I was telling you about, this white one. So you can either power it via the power um, brick here, like the, I mean a wall wart, or you can get a power brick, which I have them around, I'll show you, because I'm always using them to power various pedals and stuff. So here's a power brick, and I know for certain, I think it's this one, uh, it should usually, yeah, 2A, it says it on here. So usually it will say the amperage, so you wanna stay away from the 1A, it needs a little more juice, so this is for the 2A. So this is what you could use to power it. So we can actually try that now, just to see, you know, even though I don't really know what I'm doing, I don't know what this one's for. I'm gonna be honest with you, this US, maybe it's, I wonder if it's for an instrument, like, can it be MIDI? No, I don't think so, I mean, I don't know. I don't think so, but we will look. I was thinking, I wondered if you can take a, a keyboard um, a MIDI keyboard and plug it here, but I don't know if this has a MIDI. I mean, I doubt it. But anyway, let's take a look at this. So I'm gonna plug this side into here and then I'll go through everything that's on here. So it's a nice solid connection. And here's my power brick. 76% juice and is there an on switch? Because it didn't go on. Hmm. I don't know why. Did it turn it on? Oh, okay. I didn't turn it on. This one has a little button. Did you see the light though? But it, it went off, didn't it? Okay, this is, this is not enough juice. That's what that means. The light flashed, but so let me see if I have another one up here. 
that's got a little more, I don't think I do, crud, crud. All right, before I plug it in, before I plug it in, let me just show you what it looks like and everything that's on here. And then I'll show you how it's very similar looking to a mixer that I use in my looping station, but my mixer for my looping station is so old that it it um it does have this one. One of them has USB. The other one doesn't actually use two different mixers, but um neither of them are good for like streaming, like you can't um, you know, hook it to your iPhone or anything like that. So, I would need some kind of uh adapter that you could use like an eighth inch TRRS, plug it into an adapter that goes into your iPhone. But there are lots of ways that you can stream. I'm hoping this one makes it easier. So, all right, it says headset. And so it's unfortunately, it's the, it's not a quarter inch headphone. Like I use, you'd have to get an adapter and make it an eighth inch or like earbuds could fit in there. So that's that. Um, you have a microphone, I guess a, this is also an eighth inch microphone, but you do have a regular microphone here, which is this XLR? I believe it's XLR and I'll look in the instructions. So it would, it would be a quarter inch or an XLR microphone would fit in either of those jacks, which is nice. And actually this is cool because it has phantom power See, it says it up there, Phantom Power. If you had a condenser microphone, which I do own a couple of, one of them actually, that I need to use uh, Phantom Power, you would plug it in, lower all the volumes of everything, and then press this Phantom Power button. And that's what you need to use for the condenser microphone. If you have a, a uh, microphone that just looks like a regular mic that's called a dynamic microphone, then you don't need to press that button. You don't need phantom power. That's like a Shure SM58, which I own, or any of those microphones that look like a microphone. <laughs> those that you, or don't need phantom power. All right, so you have that as your one and two input. So what that means is you could put a microphone in one, the one with phantom power maybe if it's condenser or not, and then in here, you could plug a ukulele, a keyboard, a, you know, a guitar, a bass, anything you wanted. You could sing with it and record or stream at the same time. So you have those two inputs. But remember, it said four channel input. So I'm going to show you where your other four channels are. Okay, so actually, this is interesting. It's either three channel stereo, this is stereo. So if you had a keyboard, you put the left and the right, but then you don't have the ability to have four channels. So it's, or if you put one in each, it's going to be to one side, left side or right side. It's, it's not gonna, it'll be mono, but it will stream or record just on the one side, okay? So if you wanted to, it could be, um, four channels with two of them being mono. And I might be wrong about, because it says mono, so maybe it would all put both um, sides into one. I'm not really sure. Sometimes I've had that where if I plug in a mono instrument into the left and a mono instrument into the right, you're only gonna hear each one. You're not going to hear it in both ears. Um, then you have, it says left and right main. Um, it doesn't say if that's the output. I have to look that up. Usually that's what that is. This would be like if you were going to a PA system, okay? You put the left and the right out into the PA system or even another audio interface or anything else that you have um, that's stereo, okay? And this is your headphone. This is your quarter inch headphone. Interesting, so you could do either or. So you could do earbuds on this one, it looks like, and a quarter inch headphone, which is what I use on this one. And this is the volume, I think, for the headphone. And then you have, yeah, I was right, because you could see here, these are your, this is part of the mixer 
for each instrument. So this is your line going down this way. So this is say instrument number one and the volume is controlled down here. So which is nice because if your instrument has volume, you can really have fine tuned control. Okay. And there's an effects button, which means that this actually has effects in it, which is kind of cool. So if you plugged your guitar, your voice in, you actually have a whole bunch of effects and I'll read them to you. And so if you wanted to use it dry, you would not press this effects button. Okay, if you want it, you'd leave it up. If you wanted to have the, the instrument or your voice with the effect, press it down. And then there should be an effect. Uh, oh yeah, here. This is where you control how much of the effect. So it does look like you would have it on everything. So if you had a guitar and a voice, you'd really need to kind of balance what you liked but it would be on both. Or if you didn't want the guitar to have an effect or you had an external effect, you could just keep it dry and maybe just put the um, effect on your voice if it was like reverb. Okay, so this is your how much effects you want. And this, I'm not sure what this is left and right. I don't know what this one is. This might be how much, yeah, this might be everything. Like the whole mix, how much is going out from either the headphones or, or here, okay? What else? This is how you change your programs and that's the effects I was telling you about. And it looks like there's a screen which we'll plug in and see, um, which will tell us a little more information, which is nice. Uh, line and USB. This is the one, I'm not really sure what this is. This has to do with this. If it's the line input or USB, maybe you can't do both, maybe it's either or, I'm not sure. I have to look at that. And gain is a little different than the volume. I guess it's like, you know, when you have an amplifier and you have a gain switch, but you also have like the volume. Gain is almost like, can give you some distortion in fact. So you would have to kind of work together with these two buttons. The other one is only what you hear. So this is your important one that you have to get right so that you don't, have either too low volume or actually too high volume where you get distortion that you don't want to get. That's, that's not good either. So I think I covered everything. So you can have effects on three channels, which could be four if you split it. Um, here it says digital effect mode. So this, this button, this button probably changes the effects right here. So this is how much effect and this button changes the effects. Okay, so let me read to you the effects before I turn it on. The effects one through three are ambiance, it says. Effects four through six are spring reverb. So these are reverbs. Um, effects seven through 14 are room reverbs. 15 to 22 are plate reverbs. 23 to 30 are hall reverbs. 31 to 42, it's called echo. So it must be like maybe you can use on a Native American flute. Okay, and 40, oh, and then this might be like a delay, I bet. 43 to 46 is ping pong. So to me, that sounds like it's a delay. And then there's 47 to 50 is slap reverb. Um, 51 to 58 is echo plus reverb. So I'm thinking that's delay and reverb. And then you even have chorus. Wow, 59 to 64 is chorus. And wow, 65 to 70 is flanger, so that would be for your guitar. And 71 to 76 is delay plus chorus. And 77 to 82 is reverb plus chorus. And then I don't know what this is. 83 to 88 is KTV. Hmm. I have no idea what that means. That's interesting. USB disk. There's also something here I have to find out what it means. OTG USB, it says, or USB disk. I wonder if this is to plug in, like if you have a backing track maybe on the USB stick, that might be that. Okay, so I think I've covered everything about this and there are four rubber feet, so that stays on the table nicely. Okay. 
So it sits on my table nicely. So I have to get a plug or a power brick so that I can show you what it looks like plugged in and we can look at the settings. So I'm gonna shut this video off and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I just wanted to show you that I had to use a really hefty power brick. Um, and it says capacity 30,000 mAh, output five volt, 2.1 amperage. And this one is powering this mixer, no problem. Or you could plug it into the wall. But again, I like to be mobile. So for me, that's the advantage of something like this. I like this screen. It's a colorful screen. I can't get it to you any closer right now because I plugged it into my keyboard, my Korg Wave State, and um, this is as far as the cord goes because I usually uh, have this or some, not this, but I have something like it next to the Wave State. So I just have um, the Wave State left and right because it's stereo in here, and then the output here, I'm just using the main out. I'm just using the left mono to go into my small little amp that I have. Okay, and I just wanted to share with you some things I found out from the instructions. They're, they are lacking to a degree because I still have no clue what KTV is, these effects. It, I don't even can't even really hear much difference when I tried it. I'll share with you some of the effect sounds. They're very, um, I had it on full volume and I didn't notice too much at least with the keyboard um, that it gave me. So you might wanna still just use your own effects unit. This is baffling to me because I read the instructions, which again, you know, it's definitely been translated from probably Chinese. And it sometimes, it, you know, that expression gets lost in the translation. This is crazy. This does not tell me much of anything. And when I press these buttons here, this, so let me just show you what I did find out. The mode, this is how, I have no idea what this means. I think that's Bluetooth. And then I don't, oh, that's blue. Okay, so that's Bluetooth. So I get that. So maybe your phone, you can hook it up and I could try that, but except my phone is recording. So you can use this to um, broadcast, blue, you know, something Bluetooth, like, you know, a different um, player or if your phone has music on it. Okay. So I get that. You put it there for Bluetooth. Then you press it again, and this does change the effects. Remember, there's 88 effects. Okay, so it changed it. I had to get all the ways to Flandre before I really could tell that there was any effect on the instrument. So that's just something I noticed, but it's nice and clear. Again, no clue what that is. <laughs> I, th I think from what I'm, oh, USB set. Okay, I think I've pieced it together. You can plug this to your computer as an audio interface where you can record whatever you're playing from here and mix it the way you want into your computer. And in that case, you would have to press this button, USB button. I hope you could see that, yeah. That's what I think that is. And then here, but I don't know what it means set. I, I don't understand that. So, or maybe it has to be on here when you're using that. Or you can plug an MP3 player with a USB stick, which is what I thought. That's when that will light up. So when you have a stick in here, it will. this will light up. USB disk. Okay, so a flash drive. And then USB OTG, it said, is when it's plugged to a computer. So that should light up when it's plugged to a computer. I don't know, maybe when you're using it, it has to be here, the mode. But remember, that's Bluetooth, and that changes the effects with this switch. Okay, um, I'll play you something so you can hear. You know, uh, I have the volume pretty much to like maybe one o'clock here. And I have the level pretty high, maybe three o'clock. I don't have any of the higher low, like this is EQ on here. And this is just like a, like a, a preset. So it translates it pretty nicely. So hopefully it would record pretty nicely or um, stream pretty nicely as well. Now I'll just keep playing this and change the effects. And yeah, now the effects button is on. By the way, that's your peak meter. So when it goes to red, it means it's too loud and you need to lower the volume of your instrument or the volume here. So it's a little loud, so I'm gonna lower this volume a bit. I 
I just hear it popping. But when I get to Flanger, I do hear something. So let's go to that 65. It's a little weird. So it kind of works. Some really strange effect right there. It doesn't really sound like a flander to me, but okay. Maybe when we, you try a microphone, you might notice it a little better. So as far as keyboards, I would stick with whatever effects you use. And I probably wouldn't use the effects at all and just, you know. All right. So what else did I learn? Uh, this is also your EQ. There doesn't seem to be any indication of how you stream with this. So I'm um, assuming since this is what you'd use to go to your computer, because if I use this, this is just power. So that's not going to work. So it's not the thing in the back. So I'm thinking I would have to stream USB. I don't know if it'll work, to be honest. You know, it says streaming, but I'm not quite sure if that's the case. Um, I would have to try it. I could try it right now because it should work where it goes right to your phone. You wouldn't hear me speaking. You would just hear the music. So let me see if I can find my, what I've been streaming with. See if it'll work. I never know. Okay. So I've been using something like this to go from, uh, let me get the, there's a black cord. Okay. This is the cord they gave us. So let's just try it. What do we have to lose? Oh, but by the way, when you're using this, you have to press this down for USB. Now you don't hear anything from the keyboard. So I think just for this demonstration, I'm going to just use mono on the keyboard and just um, do it that way. So it's just my main out. I need another cord. I'll just use. I'll just use the left on the same cord I had. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I left it in. <clears throat> so I'm just going to use the left mono, and I'll put it in one of these channels so that I can utilize this. I'm hoping I still can. So channel one. Okay, I'm not going to put any effect on this. Here's the volume. Okay. It's not very loud, so I'm going to raise the volume of my... It's not peaking at all. Hopefully it's loud enough. I just raised the volume of the amp. So there are different ways you can raise volume, but as far as streaming now, it should not even go to the amp. It should go directly from the keyboard to the phone. But if this doesn't work, we'll know. So let's try this. Plugging it into my phone right now. Now, if this works, you won't hear me talking. <laughs>
testing, testing. Where the hell is it? Testing, test, testing. Ah, here we go. Testing. One, two. So you have to adjust the vein, the gain. You must adjust the gain to get sound. This is not a phantom powered mic, so I don't need the phantom button. I would like to hear if the effects are better on the microphone. So, so I'm turning turn turn up. Say, there, there you go. go. So the, so the effects, effects will, will probably work, work well, well on a mic, mic and a guitar. I did it didn't work well on the key. Maybe, Maybe having, having something, something to do with it sharing the channel. I don't know. So that, that was number, number 31, 31 echo. echo. 32. Okay, okay. okay. Let's, let's start, start at the beginning. beginning. I won't I go, go through, through all, all of these, but a few. few. Hello. Hello. This is just ambience, it says. Okay. And it's on max, remember. Number two. Hello. Three. Four. Five. Five. This is spring reverb. That's way too much. So maybe like that. That's not bad. Like that is even better. Not bad. It sounds pretty good. Some days are better than others. Some days are worse than the odds. Now that I'm alone. Now that my daddy is gone. Okay, so you can hear, you can balance it between the keys, which are kind of loud, so I'll just, which was a key, this one was the keys. And this is a level of the voice. Not bad, though. Okay, so there you have it. Um, there's some, let's see what the, uh, the flanger is gonna be really weird on the voice. 65, was it? Ding. Testing. Testing. Oh, that's really weird. <laughs> My dog's going crazy. Hello. 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 I wonder what this 80, what is it? 83 to 88. I don't know what this is. Hello. Hello. Kind ice mixer. Kind ice mixer. Isn't it going down? I got on my testing, 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 testing. One, two. All right. So again, if this works, you'll only hear me through the microphone. You should notice a big difference between the audio recorded via just the um, iPhone microphone and the microphone that I'm using now. PG-48 by Sure, just an old one. Let me hold this up so you can see it a little more clearly. It's on USB now, okay? Because we're, use, you're, we're utilizing the streaming capability. So if I wanted to go right to YouTube, this is the way I would do it. It's pretty hefty. So far, it's the, the best made one that I've gotten or used. It's really nice and, you know, it sits on the desk nice and solidly. Look at that. I mean, that's not going anywhere. And I love that it's powered by this brick. So it's all mobile. Again, you could use it with this, with the wall. And you can use it with any instrument that you plug in. So a ukulele, guitar, keyboard, anything, tongue drum, anything that you can plug in. This is my Mo grandmother I could use it with. So stay tuned for videos that I will be using this mixer to do some live streaming with my electronic stuff and uh, possibly some acoustic stuff in the future if I get up the nerve. So let me put this video so you can see me again. I still have the microphone plugged in. 
So thank you so much, Kamais, for this lovely mixer that I definitely will be utilizing in my recording and in my live streams. And um, I think it's very well made. There are a few things that are a little confusing in the instruction booklet, but I think overall it's a really nice product. And I know their prices are you know, really competitive. I can't see any flaws that would not make me buy this. Uh, so I think it seems to be well made. Um, I hear a good quality sound. We'll listen when you hear it on the um, video. You should be able to discern the difference between when I first spoke with you and then when I had it going through the um, actual mixer directly to the phone using this. So this is great because it's nothing more than this USB dongle that I use for so many things when I use my iPhone and my iPads. And if you have a USB-C iPhone, oh, well, it doesn't have a USB-C iPhone, but a USB-C iPad and you want to record, they have these type of dongles for the USB-C, I believe. But in any case, um, I really like it and I think that it's going to be very functional for me and hopefully give me some good quality audio in my streaming. And if I want to just record, I can just plug it to via the this, and I wouldn't need this. I would need an adapter for my USB-C Mac, which I have. So it seems to be a very versatile mixer, and I love that it's battery powered or can be battery powered. So thank you so much. Take care, everybody. Be well, be safe, and thank you again.